Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, so, as you can tell, everything's a bit different. By the way, I want to pre-apologise for the camera. If the camera keeps doing this weird wavy thing, where it looks like it's just focusing, I do apologise. This phone, for recording on the back anyway, is in completely shit. Um, but it looks better and looks brighter. So, in order for it to look better and brighter, it may do this stupid wavy ball crap. But yes, as you can tell, everything looks different. We no longer have... The chairs anymore that we recently got we actually now have a three-seater reclining sofa that my brother showed us he told us that our neighbors were moving out and they were getting rid of a matching set of two and a three-seater reclining sofas and I said that uh, you know could we have them they said yeah sure we're getting rid of them anyway so we took them in they're not in the best condition but they are in great condition so they still work uh, the springs come loose on the on the right side recliner um, but that's an easy fix but the two-seater one does work but the two-seater one isn't ours that's going to someone else um, in the house, um, but the three-seater one is comfortable. The whole room has changed. As you can tell, that's where the TV was before. Everything's changed now. We literally have right here in our corner. We have the 49-inch 4K sitting beautifully. Everything all set up and looking perfect. And the next, we also have my beautiful 32-inch 3D TV right next to it. So both TVs are facing our sofa. So when we want to just cuddle up and watch a nice 2D movie. We have the big screen there, and when we just wanted to sit there in the dark and watch a nice 3D movie to get the better experience, we can do it right here, and everything just looks so amazing now together. Everything looks perfectly set up. My bookcase is still over here by the door. Alice's little bookcase is here next to the TV. Um, I was going to put my one next to the TV, but it's just a lot bigger, and our, our windows are here, so it'd block our windows. But everything just looks amazing now. So everything looks better and just, oh, it's awesome. So, this video is going to be a bit different from most usual videos I do. This video is going to be talking about, as you can tell by the title actually, um, James Cameron, the 3D legend. Me and um, Channel Don Star Roger, a great friend, I joined in his live stream last night. Links to his channel will be in the description below. Uh, and we were talking about the whole, the fact that he's releasing Terminator 2 next month. Um, in 3D in the cinemas and they're already working on the, the 3D Blu-ray and how if Terminator 2 3D is a success and it sells how he's thinking about releasing The Abyss and True Lies in 3D in the cinemas and then the Blu-rays which would just be awesome so this is talking about the 3D Blu-rays he's already released so far and just why I call him the 3D legend so, I'm just going to name all of them off the bat. So, I've got three of his actual 3D movies here. But I know that there is at least... I think there's just one more that I, I used to have, but I don't. So, let's just go through it quickly. The main top one in my list is Avatar. Avatar 3D is beautiful. Then these two go back to back. Titanic and Ghost of the Abyss. And the next one is Sanctum. So, let's just go through all of these. Now, all of these he's done beautifully. They, all, they are all full frame. Which, if you guys have seen my videos and you've seen my channel and you know for a fact that 3D is my, my main passion of movies. Um, full frame 3D is the best way to watch any 3D movie. I'm very, very strict when it comes to Letterbox 3D movies. The only ones that make me enjoy Letterbox is the TMNT movies. But, full frame 3D is my favourite kind of 3D. It's the best way to view it because you get all the image. Your whole TV is just immersed in beautiful 3D quality. And it's just amazing. So, all of his 3D movies are full frame. All of them. Uh, and he and it's been said that Terminator, Abyss, True Lies are all going to be full frame as well. Because he, he appreciates the image quality and how much people should view in the movies. And that no image should be cropped or shrunk or stretched. He thinks that it just all should just be full on screen enjoyment. So, that's amazing. The reason I call him the 3D Legend is because none of his 3D movies have been bad. Titanic is beautiful. Ghost of the Abyss is phenomenal. Avatar, just beyond phenomenal. Sanctum, so realistic in 3D to the point where I genuinely felt like I was drowning. And I know there was no water. Um, they are just beautiful, beautiful movies. And the 3D makes them... It just adds so much. Like, I don't like Titanic. But when I watch Titanic in 3D... I got so much more involved because it was like I was there on the ship. I was involved in every room, every scene. I, it felt like I was there with the actors in that scene. 
Sanctum, I said, as I mentioned, it felt like I was under the water with the people. In Avatar, you felt like you were on Pandora with the Na'vi. Ghost of the Abyss, I've not seen, I've actually not seen this movie all the way through yet. Me and, I said, my guest watcher, my mother, uh, which is the reason we got this, is because she really wants to see this. Um, we're going to watch this together soon, and then I'll do a review. I said, I don't think she'll join me on the review, but you never know, she might want to. But the point is, I've seen bits of this, and the bits that I've seen are just amazing. Cameron knows how to do 3D, and he does it with each movie perfectly. So, I want to say thank you to James Cameron. Because, like I said, the, first, the actual first 3D movies we watched was Alice in Wonderland, which wasn't in exactly incredible. It was great 3D, but it wasn't incredible. And this, this... The, oh no, there was this, Alice in Wonderland, then Tron. So this was the second 3D movie I ever owned or watched. This is the exact same copy I bought all those years ago, before I even got my 3D TV. This is what I bought when I moved to Worcester and tried it out on my brother's TV down there. Um, so this is, I have never sold this or traded it. This is the exact same copy I've always had. And it's because of this movie, I am a massive massive fan of 3d it's because of this movie and i think i've said it before it's because of this movie i wanted to buy a 3d tv so cameron just oh thank you so much for the entertainment of your 3d movies i'm sorry that i've said that i didn't like titanic because i just i don't like the story as much but the fact that you've put it in 3d has made the story so much more interesting to the point now where i want to watch it more so, you know, thank you for that. I mean, that's amazing. And I hope you do a ton more 3D in the future. I am looking forward to Terminator 2 in 3D, definitely. I'm going to go cinemas to go and see it. And then I'll straight away down to the nearest uh, Blu-ray and DVD store when it comes out on 3D Blu-ray. I don't care. Even if it's in the US only and not in the UK, I will probably pre-order purchase it from the US to the UK just because of the fact that T2 is my favourite out of all of them. And the fact that watching that in 3D would be fantastic. Would be amazing. And I think there's a lot of moments in that movie that would just add so much to make it even better than it, than it already is. And it's already a perfect movie. So adding the 3D to make that better would just be, oh, awesome. So yeah, I was originally meant to be watching Ghost of the Abyss today. But due to being tired and ill and after all the work... Trust me, I did more work yesterday in the house than I've ever done in my entire life. Um, we literally moved and arranged like 17 pieces of furniture. Plus, I was up and down doing other stuff around the house, in and out of the house as well. Plus, I was making tons of drinks because of how thirsty I was. Um, so, I've done, I've done a really lot yesterday to the point where I even tried to pick up a fan. And it went, I don't know if you can see that, but it went straight through my thumb. Um, my whole finger was, it doesn't look that bad now, but yesterday, this whole thing was just covered in red. I was screaming. <laughs> but, because my fans don't have the front cages on them, which is stupid. But I was meant to grab the back, but my thumb slid in, so the blade went, like, around. Um, but, just, oh, owning James Cameron's 3D movies is what makes 3D worth viewing. I need to get Sanctum back. I had Sanctum and I sold it. Stupidly, I sold it. Um, I, the only reason I sold it was because I got... Because whereas my heart has been problems, watching an underwater movie where people are drowning, it kind of it gives you that feeling. So you end up getting panicked. And then when I'm panicking, my heart starts racing so fast. And, you know, that's why I haven't actually been able to watch the end of Titanic yet when she lets go of him into the water. Because I know for a fact that if I try and watch that bit in 3D, my heart will just go... Um, but my heart's slightly getting, like, not, it's not healing, healing. It never will heal, heal. But it is getting better to the point where not so many things are starting to make my heart race as much anymore. Which I am happy about, because that's going to make me just so happy to be able to just watch things without being panicked. Um, but, I need to get Sanctum back. Any 3D movie that James Cameron decides to release... I will definitely purchase, no matter which one it is. Just because he knows how to do it. And I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. So, this was just a... Why James Cameron is probably the best 3D maker out there. Uh, because he knows... He knows how to do 3D. 
Like, he just knows. Um, so, yeah. Go, if you haven't seen any of these movies in 3D, which I'm hoping you will have, if you haven't, check all of them out. So, I'll just rename them in case you, you, know, you forgot by this part of the video. So, so far, he has done Sanctum, Titanic, Ghost of the Abyss, and Avatar. Go and check those out, because they are just all phenomenal. That is it, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, click that subscribe button, show your support. I surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful people, and I'll see you next time.